today we will be looking at another award, sorry, not the honor, another award. And this is Carpenter Award. Um, I think um, some of the best carpenters came from the Caribbean. I think um, Caribbean, Caribbean people produces good carpenters. Go on, <laughs> Uncle Lawrence, go on. <laughs> yes, I, I learned carpentry from my uncle, um, which in, 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 um, he learned from his father. So it kind of actually went down the line. Um, today we want to look at a few things from, of the, from the award. So and I will what, start. Uncle, we've got some guys who are agreeing with you. <laughs> and uh, 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 let me go to that one. Um, it's, it, they were just agreeing that, yes, this is so true uh, about the, the best carpenters. <laughs> yes, yes, they're right. That's right, Mr. Pollard <laughs> says uh, Nabi, Nabia uh, Dennis. Okay, that's good. Good. Today, what you what you will learn, you will learn to explain the work of a carpenter. You will learn to name three things that a carpenter build. We will go to the Bible. We will go back to the Bible and see what it um, tells us about carpentry, carpentry and carpenters. Then we will identify the basic tools required for simple woodworking and explain how to take care of them. We will visit one of the places listed be below, a lumber yard, a hardware store, a woodworking shop, or a sawmill. You'll use carpenter tools to make one of the following, either a birdhouse or a bird feeder, a key holder, a napkin holder, or any other useful wooden object. And I heard um, Antin Tokus start talking about a beehive. That can be another useful um, um, object too that you can, that you can um, make. And then we will discuss Jesus the carpenter and things he may have made. So those are the things that we will be doing today. Um, and I hope that you are ready for this award. Good. Explaining the work of a carpenter. Adventurers, what is a carpenter? Okay, guys, there's a question for us. What is a carpenter? And so we'd love to hear from the guys who are on Facebook what they think a, a carpenter does. And they can tell us in their own words. So guys, let's get typing on the comment section of Facebook and uh, here on the chat uh, for our um, Zoom uh, audience. What is a carpenter? Pastor Dan, talk to us. Uh, uh, Pastor Andrew, at the moment we do not have a comments yet uh, on on a Zoom. Maybe there is a little bit more delay than usual, uh, so we're waiting for the first comment. But a Zoom is still the, at the moment going strong, so go for that with those comments. Uh, someone who makes things out of wood, a oh, person who makes things. As you as you read that, you you might as well read from Facebook. Somebody just said carpenter makes things from the wood. So well done, guys. Okay, well done. Well done. Good well done. Time. Well done. Yes, a carpenter is a person who builds or repairs wooden structures and makes other articles of wood. So you, you find a carpenter, he will be, be involved in measuring, he'll be involved in marking up, cutting, shaping, fitting, finishing timber to the perfect finish. He'll be using a number of hand tools and even power tools also. He will be installing floor joists, floor boards, roofs, wall partition, fixing interiors, and such like. So a carpenter job entails a lot of things. And you, 
boys and girls, you will see as we continue what are some of those things that a carpenter job is involved in. All right? I want to ask you, adventurers, to name me three things that a carpenter builds. Name me three things a carpenter builds. Okay, guys. We'd love to hear from you. Three things that a carpenter builds and the answers are coming in thick and fast here. Okay, so we'll, um, hmm, interesting answers here. And uh, we will just uh, hear as well from those who are on um, Facebook what uh, they're saying, desks, we've got wardrobe, we've got chair, doors, and uh, wooden tables. Uh, so we've got um, a lot of tables coming here. All right, okay. Pastor um, Dan, excellent. Do you have anything to add? All the items you mentioned are here as well. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. Those are some of the things that you can identify a carpenter doing, right? See, um, one is working on the floor joists, one is working on the roof. So carpenters, they build houses, they build schools, they build churches, they build places, um, different types of places. Um, so you see the carpenter is working on a, on a building here. And other examples are, what do you think this carpenter is building here? Okay, so what is being built here? Somebody says a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> I think the honey is still. Uh, if, they look, if they look in the background, what is what do you what do they see? Hey, okay. you see in the background behind them. Okay, someone says uh, Noah's Ark. Oh, that's getting interesting. <laughs> uh, a stool, a sanctuary. Uh, somebody <laughs> says maybe chair or furniture, a drawer, a table. There's all different answers we are getting here, uh, Uncle Lawrence. Okay. Carpenters, they, 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 they don't only involve in the outside of a building. They also work on the inside of buildings, like shelving units that you can see there, even tables, even desks, even decking, even windows doors as, as what some of them had said so when you say windows what do you mean uh uncle when i say windows i mean the the windows frame and even the the installing of windows different types of windows oh excellent buildings yeah yeah what do you think this is the one with the tv what do you guys think that is, boys and girls, adventurers? Uncle is asking us a question. What does that look like? TV stand and uh, entertainment center, drawer, TV unit, TV stand again. That's so correct. That is correct. We have some clever yes. boys and girls here. Well, you will find the carpenter is involved in all sorts of wooden construction in the home. Um, the living area, the TV stand, the TV units, the tables, um, the dining area, the dining tables, the chairs in the kitchen, the kitchen units, you know, the cupboards where your mom and dad will put the food stuff, etc. The, the, the carpenter builds all of those things. So the carpenter is a very busy person because he does a lot of things. Good. We want to look at, we want to go back to the Bible and we want to see what these texts tell us about the carpenter and what they build. And we are looking at three sets of texts from Genesis, from Exodus, 
and from 2 Samuel 5, 11. So the, the first one, what did the carpenter build? In Genesis chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. We'll read that together. Okay. So we've got the ark, we've got a boat, we've got the ark again. Um, Noah building the ark. Yeah, so that's what we're getting from Genesis 6. That's right. That's Whoa. right. That's correct. Um, that, was, that was the ark that the Lord told Noah to build. So you, you find you 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 will notice that carpentry is been a long time ago. So they were carpenters a long long time ago, and here is one of the one of the biggest wooden up, um, structure that was uh, that was built. Um, what about Exodus thirty verses one to three? Okay, guys, what's uh, being built in Exodus 30, uh, verses 1 to 3, that involves uh, carpenters. So let's get the answers coming. The altar. Uh, I'll read it. Uh, let me read it. Let me read it for you. You shall make an altar to burn incense on. You shall make it of acacia wood, a cubit, shall be its length and a cubit its width. It shall be square and two cubits shall be its height. Its horn shall be of one piece with it. And you shall overlay its top, its sides all around. So what, boys and girls, what was built? What a carpenter built? Well, you've got the answers, uh, tabernacle and we've got altar of incense actually. Uh, Romeo underlines uh, that it was not just an altar, but the altar of incense. And that is correct. Yes. So you find that in the tabernacle, they, they were carpenters who built those furniture. And some of them were overlaid with gold, etc. But they were built out of wood first. So carpentry was done back then. And what about the third one? Second Samuel chapter five and verse eleven. Um, a house of David, a palace. These guys are so quick, Uncle. Ah, they are good. They are very good. Yeah. And this time we've got a palace spelled with all capital letters. So <laughs> careful there. <laughs> and a house. Somebody says a house. Yes. Yeah. And you know that um, a king lived in a palace. So that was what was built for David. He was, um, a house was built for him. So carpenters were way back, see, since in the Old Testament time. We had carpenters doing their the work. And today we still have carpenters. Um, they had to build stuff. They had to build buildings, they had to build furniture, etc. But adventurers, can you name the tools that the carpenter uses? Okay. Can you name me any oh, I I can't believe this, Uncle. We already have so many answers. These guys are so quick. I would still be looking for the letter, and they've already told us hammer, screws, nails. Um, what else do we have there? So hammer. Ooh, I don't know that one. Uh, axe and nails and um, we've got more screws and a screwdriver. <laughs> Nuts and bolts as well, just to add on for that uncle. A plane. Oh, chisel. E, E, E. e. Yes, yeah, yes. So, so what, what do we have here? What's the first one? What's the first, what this picture is? What is this picture? Okay, we've got hammer. So we've got, um, yeah, hammer keeps coming up. So everybody seems to know that's a hammer, uncle. 
What's the second one? Somebody said that's a drill. Is that a drill, uncle? No, that's not. It's not okay. a drill. Okay. And somebody says that's a plane. Yes. And someone says that, is, that is an iron. Oh, I love that one <laughs> because it does look like an iron to an extent. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is the plane and the purpose the purpose for the hammer you know it is to when you're using nails um etc and we have to hammer in the nails the plane normally we use it to smooth the wood when we finish cutting a wood you know it's kind of rough with the, the hairs of the wood etc so we need to plane it and make it smooth so that we can you know sand it and get a good finish so the plane is used for smoothing wood. What is that? Everybody should know that. Okay. Oh, they're fired off, Uncle. We've got saw, saw, saw. Everyone is saying that's a saw. And I wonder what, do, you, do, do they know what the purpose for the saw? And what is a saw used for, boys and girls? Let's let Uncle know to cut wood exactly to cut trees okay so this is going yes yes to cut yes. in half says um Bruce yes it is used that to cut wood. that's from Geraldine. and 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 adventurers you will notice also that there are different types of saws there are numerous saws right this one, you, you, you will refer this as a, a hand saw, which it might be a cross cut saw because it's cut, cutting across the grain, right? Then there's the rip saw, then there's the bow saw, then there's the hack saw, et cetera, et cetera. So there are a number of different types of saws, right? But you are right. It is a saw and it is used for cutting timber or wood. What is this now? What is the uh, next picture? Okay, guys, you guys have done carpentry of some sort because you can't know all these things. This is very good. Okay, let's uh, hear from Uncle, uh, from Uncle Pastor. That's what they call me, by the way, Dan. So, Uncle Pastor, tell us from our Facebook, what do you have? All right, so here it is. Uh, the, uh, the answer is still flying back from the previous question uh, and now we have tape measure yeah there you go yes. yeah so we have the tape measure or the measuring tape which we know we need to measure the wood the size of the board or the size of the wood that needs to be cut so tape measure is very important as one of the tools for the carpenter because without that you would not be able to do a proper work what do we call these tools okay guys let's um let's give it to uncle let's let him know what your thoughts are on these uh tools that he's showing here on this uh, picture and the guys are firing away screwdriver says somebody mm, i'm not quite sure but uncle will tell us and we've got loads of answers saying chisel, smoothener, okay. What, about, what about Pastor Dion? Is anything coming there? Uh, yeah, the, our right, the only right answers come here from the Facebook audience. And they are <laughs> saying it's chisels. Yes, chisels. That's right. And we know that they, they Chisel is used for taking out pieces of wood when we have to fit like a, a hinge or um, a lock, you know, so we use a chisel to do those kind of work. What about the tool? The, the, the next picture, what is that? This might be a bit difficult for some, some of us. Oh, no, uncle. Not for these boys and girls, because while we have a lot of them saying ruler, we also have corner square <laughs> corner square or square ruler says somebody or angle line Ooh, these guys so tell us uncle is that any 
framing square. Yes, Uncle, is corner square. square acceptable as an answer? Yes, I will take the, the, the corner square uh, because it actually is used to, um, to keep the wood square, right? 90 degrees, right? So that is an important tool also, especially when you're fitting it in a certain corners, you know, it needs to be square. Or if you're doing something, um, joining two wood, it needs to be square. Okay. So that, th 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 those are correct answers. And what about this? Okay, guys, let's uh, let uncle know. Ah, so now we get screwdriver coming in. Yes, we've got screwdriver, uncle. Yes, there's a screwdriver. And you know the purpose is to tighten screws, etc. And what about this? Now that looks like um, a very interesting tool, Uncle. <laughs> I always used to wonder this was what this was all about when I was growing up and I saw people using it. But I am not one of these boys and girls because they seem to be uh, in the know. So we've got, uh, oh, somebody says an evil. Um, okay. Uh, spirit level, water level, and um, we also have, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, level, 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 level. What about the Facebook? Again, um, it's a level, nothing else. It seems to me that uh, we are actually teaching the group of carpenters at the moment. <laughs> Yes, it's a spirit level, and it's used to keep things straight, you know, when you want to see whether thing, um, like a, a, a cupboard uh, um, or even like a, a cross beam or anything of the sort, you know, or actually like a countertop, when you want to know whether it's level or not, so that, you know, the things won't fall off, be falling off of it, you use this, the spirit level. So, oh, so that uncle, you know, can you, you know tell that. us what, what the, why spirit? Why, why why does it have the word spirit? Because the 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 stuff in it it's it's a bubble a bubble stuff in it that actually um operates like a like a like in, in, it, it it actually they, they say it's it's actually move uh, operate like a spirit you know in the sense that you know it keeps um the level of the 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 units etc right okay, so, okay. good so one that's why it is called actually spirit level so how can we take care how can a carpenter take care of his tools what he needs to do to take care of his tools what are some of the things that he need to do uh, toolbox, Samuel and uh, Michael say a toolbox. Yeah. And Felista says putting in a toolbox or he should avoid water, says Romeo, and clean them after every use, says uh, Nabia. And Nathan says put them in a cupboard, in a cupboard, I guess he's, he's saying, and uh, put them in a toolbox, says uh, Locomano, Lucomano. Hope I'm pronouncing your names right. I'm not as sharp as you boys and girls who know all these. Are they doing fine, Pastor? Mm, these guys are sharp. Yeah, they're doing excellent. Not scattering yeah. them. Um, always in a toolbox and keeping them dry. Yes, and that's important because of the. Um, it's important that the carpenter take care of his tools, right? Keeping your tools sharp. It's important because blunt tools, you know can be very frustrating for the carpenter. He would not be able to give a quality or good finish, right? So keeping his tool sharp is, is important. Keeping your tools dry as what the adventurer said, that's also very, very good. Um, hang your tools, don't leave them on the, the floor or on the ground because they can get damage or soil um, or can injure someone. You know, someone can be injured. Keep moving parts, running smoothly, like oiling it. Um, 
taking care of, of those moving parts. Um, keep your tools smooth and clean. Yeah, we need to clean our tools. We need to inspect, the carpenter will need to inspect his tools after every use to make sure that it is clean and tidy and clean your tools um, is important also. So th th those boys and girls, they are very, very, they're on the ball, Pastor. Of course they are. Yeah. We've got a good set of uh, um, students here, very eager. Uh, somebody's even adding that if the metal, uh, um, if the metal is not looked after properly, it will rust. Exactly. Mm. Uh, that's right. That's correct. So in, in, your, in your award adventures, you need to visit one of these places, either Lumber Yard, a hardware store like B&Q, a woodworking shop, or a sawmill. I want to take you to on a visit to a lumber yard. Do we so need to put our seatbelts on, Uncle? So Pardon? get ready, boys and girls. Ripping off the public from. So get ready because we are about to go on a tour with Uncle. Do we need hard hats, Uncle? Do we need um, what? Do we need? Yes, you need hard hard hats. So you, need, uh, you need highlighter. Um, um, clothing. You need safety shoes. <laughs> you need. Um, you need your, your, your eye protector, your ear protectors. So you need a number of, a number of protection. And the Lawrence, we are struggling to see anything. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, press the play button just to see if it's going to work. Because the majority of people don't know the symptoms. We cannot see it, unfortunately. Can you see it, No, I can't. Uh, yeah. So I was thinking it's just setting himself up. Uh, so you may need to just start again. Um, sharing your screen on that one and just make sure you optimize as uh, we've um, gone through that. So if you want to stop and then start again, uncle. So you may need to just start again. Uh, stop the video or the? Uh, the, the, the sharing of the screen so oh. that you can start again and then we hopefully will be able uh, to see that, uh, take that lovely trip with you. Just a minute. Okay, so guys, uh, remember you've got the worksheet that is online and um, it's on the BUC E Club and uh, E Award, uh, the, the, uh, the worksheet that comes with this particular uh, Carpenter uh, Award. So please do access it, do complete it, let your um, uh, leaders have it once you have done and uh, it's been signed off. And um, the BUC shop has most of these awards. Uh, if not all of them. So if you want to actually get the patch after uh, or your leaders want to do that for you, uh, they can get it from our BUC uh, patch. Are you ready now? Uh, I haven't seen you stopping. Um, you may need to just stop it and then start again. So stop the, uh, yeah, and then you can go to share screen again and just make sure you've uh, clicked on uh, those two buttons at the bottom when you do so and then you can come back uh, again. So we've got the, um, the award, uh, the link to it is just been posted here uh, on the chat. So we'll post it on Facebook as well and you guys can have that uh, with you. Okay, so taking a trip to the lumber yard. That's a nice word, lumber. A pretty Diva 15 millimeters wide jaw, opening oversized stainless Mine steel toenail to clipper see. cutter. Uh, so. You seen it, Pastor? No, because when it comes up on a separate screen, you need to click on that screen and share that screen. Because at the moment you are sharing your, your PowerPoint. So okay. you may want to just go straight to the screen that comes up if it's already showing. So go to share screen, make sure those two buttons are clicked 
and then um, click on the YouTube video, I believe it is, uh, to share that particular one. Ah, you've got some lovely helpers there. Thank you. Oh, there it is. We can see it, Uncle. So, boys and girls, get ready for this trip. Here we go. That is so cool. are watching and they seem to be amazed this is so cool they are saying i was just explaining what is happening
That's been very beautiful, Uncle. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. And the guys have enjoyed it. They're asking, it must have taken so many hours uh, just to do and to get it all together. Okay. So, Uncle. Okay, Justin. Is that you done? Are you ready for the other video, Uncle? No, not yet. Not as yet. Okay. Just want to just want to tell you different types of wood. There's soft wood, there's hard wood, and then there's the engineered wood. Well, the soft wood is merely you know wood that is um, it's not that it's soft in material, but is that it can it's easily worked with than the hard wood. The hard wood is you know it it, it takes more effort, and the engineered wood is as what I told you from the, what you saw in the lumber yard. Those wood chips and the the bark of the trees and the dust. They are in um, manufactured wood and they go to a factory where they're engineered and they come out as boards. So those, those um, bits and pieces, um, not wasted, but even used for other, um, other purposes. And there are other types of wood, um, like the alder wood, which is a hard wood. Um, it is, is, is used by the the, the carpenter. Then there's the birch wood, which is also another hardwood. Um, it's very strong. Um, and actually, carpenters use it for much, actually everything. Um, then there's the cedar wood, which it carries, it, it, it carries a, 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 a lovely color and it's a nice wood grain, but it also carries a smell. And they say the smell is, you know, it's, it's repellent to, to insects and pests. So that's why this would, you know, carpenters would normally use this outdoors, like in, like in decking, etc., because it will, it's, it's, it will put, it protect itself from the pests and from um, the elements. So, so if we put it, it in our for, tent. When we go camping, Uncle, would it help if we put it in our tent when we go camping and there's all the midges? <laughs> no, I don't think it will work that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then there's the ebony, which is 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 a wood that is is easily identifiable. Um, it's a black wood. Um, you will know um the old pianos, the black keys, they used to use ebony wood to make those. The, the, the black keys for the piano. So it's easily identifiable and it's a hardwood. It's very, very durable. Then there's the mahogany. Mahogany is one of the beautiful wood. And most joint um, carpenters love to work with mahogany, build um, furniture out of mahogany. Um, and you will notice when you go to the, if your parents, you know, go to buy um, furniture and it's made of mahogany, it's very expensive because it is a beautiful wood. Very, very exotic. Then there's the maple, which is also a hardwood and used a lot by the carpenter. And then there's a, the most loved wood, of, uh, um, most loved of the hardwood, which is the oak. Um, oak is a popular wood for many, many um, carpenters. They love the, the oak because it's beautiful in its grain and especially when you, you finish it with lacquer, it looks so beautiful. Then there's the pine. It's a common wood which is versatile. It's used in a number of, for a number of reasons, bed, frames, etc. cetera, um, but it is a soft wood, meaning that it can work easily, you work with it easily. And then there's the walnut, which is a hardwood and another beautiful wood. Um, but it, it's, 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 it's richness and it's brown richness. Um, it makes the furniture look really, really beautiful. And then there's one of the example of the engineered boards. This is used like in, um, in loft, in the roofing, 
um, even flooring before they, they put, put um, any um, laminate floors, they will put this down on the joist, floor joist. Um, and this is used, you know, and because it's cheap, it's used readily um, for a number of things by the carpenter. Can you tell me, adventurers, who was called a carpenter in the Bible? Okay, guys. Oh, we've already got the answers flooding in. We have Joseph, we have Jesus' father, we've got Jesus. And um, yeah, those are the main answers that are coming in. Yes, very good. Noah that as well. Good. Somebody says Noah. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was a carpenter. Noah was a, was a carpenter because he built the ark. So exactly. Um, but in Mark chapter 6 and verse 3, Jesus was called a carpenter. As a matter of fact, his, his neighbors only knew him as a carpenter. And uh, they also said that it, it was also said in Matthew that his father was a carpenter. So Jesus worked with his father. And in, the, in, in those days, the father will teach the sons about the trade. So Jesus learned the trade of carpentry from his father. And that's why the neighbors knew him as the carpenter or the son of a carpenter. And in those days, the carpenter built a lot of things. You know, he will build plows, he will build wheels for, the, for those carts. He will build beams for the homes. He will build actually nearly everything in the home. Uh, um, the carpenter, he needs to know the wood that he has to work with. So he has to go and choose the wood. Um, and it's not like where we had to, you know, the, the carpenter will go to the lumber yard, etc. In those days, they didn't have lumber yard. So the carpenter will go to the, to the forest and he will have to fell his own tree. And he will have to make, um, somehow get it to his house or to his, to his shop. Uh, workshop and he had to build stuff from there. So the carpenter will, you know, he had a, he did a lot of work, hard work, right, in those days. And he also built furniture. He, he will build storage cabinet. So this is like an example of a carpenter in Jesus' time, in the Bible time. You see the wheel and the, the carpenter working on the wheel. And you see in the background, there's a, 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 young, a young adventurer, his son maybe, and he's teaching his son. So that's how it was back in those time. And here's an example of a carpenter in the Bible time, working on the furniture. It might have been a, a, a table or a stool. So the carpenter will produce stools, he would produce chairs, he will make tables, etc. And these are some of the tools in Jesus' time that a carpenter will use. An okay. axe, a chisel, etc. Some of the tools that we talked about earlier on. Yeah. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Uncle. This is a really blessing. And um, the children are so pleased. And uh, the comments that are coming in are showing that they are really benefiting from this. Um, yeah, some of the things that you know the carpenter will do will build like um, this um, the cupboard there with the drawer and then there's an overhead shelving and even to the other side there's another shelving um, with storage cupboard storage shelf so this is in, in, in the bible times that is how you know it will look the furniture will look in the bible times and Jesus will have been making all of these things there because he is a master carpenter. Amen. So th th those were some of the things that um, was built in, in, in Jesus' time. Um, they, 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 they only knew him as a carpenter, right? But we know that Jesus is more than that. He's not only a carpenter, but he is also our savior. So, adventurer, 
Here is your challenge. You need to use carpenter tools to make one of the following. Either a birdhouse or a picture frame or a beehive Ooh. or a storage box or a coat hanger. Pastor, okay, can you play so this? Sorry? Can you play that video for me? Okay, so let's have a look at uh, something that uh, Brother Lawrence himself was able to make. Aha, uh -huh. if I can find it, I will play it. Um, okay, let's go. Hi, adventurers. Today I want to show you the simple art of doing a project. Remember the assignment, you have to do a project, a simple one, one that's you know, not too difficult for you. Um, you can choose a birdhouse, a bathhouse, or any other simpler project. Today I have chosen to do a bird feeder. Um, I have here before me um, the pieces that I have cut out. Um, measurements are there, like for example, I have the side which is, um, it's cut in an angle because you want to have the true, um, it's, it's 90, 90 cm. want to unmute you as we give a big round of applause uh, to pa Uncle Lawrence. Okay. Then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 